hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome my channel is all about reselling I do everything from thrift hauls to tutorial videos to what sold and everything else in between you can think of that has to do with the reselling and the goal for me is to help you increase your income so today I'm going to do a video for those of you who are new or might not have even started eBay I am going to walk you through listing an item step by step from beginning to end and we will do several items so you will get accustomed with it and feel comfortable as you start your journey on eBay so let's go All right, so these are the items that we are going to list. I have a Michael Kors purse, a Freecoma picture, a Tetra Whisper filter cartridges, a Smithsonian Institute scarf, and then I have this little lamb planner. So these items I'm hoping will give me some different ways to show you guys how to list. This one is not branded, so we'll have to search. This one does have a brand. The Tetra has a SKU code. And then we know there are tons of Michael Kors purses. So I am going to show you all of the different ways. I am not going to show you how to photograph because I just put a video out on photography. So you will have to refer to that as far as the actual taking pictures part. But as far as listing, we're going to go through everything step by step. Now on my phone look ebay is front and center so when i open my ebay app it says search for anything there is a button up top here if you see that is a camera if you push that camera you can do three things with that you can take a new photo select from the gallery of photos you already took or you can scan a barcode so we are going to do the michael kors purse first and for that I am going to select from my gallery and now these are the pictures I took before editing but in my gallery I have these so I'm going to click on one of these and eBay will search by that photo if you see here and show items that look similar it's kind of funny because it's pulling up all these black purses and mine is white so another way is i can go back and just type in or i can say michael kors michael kors white purse gold trim so here are some that are a little more like it. So sometimes it works with the photo, sometimes it doesn't. Now I'm going to go to filter and you're gonna have to hit show more. You wanna scroll down. And I'm going to click on sold items. And then I will look here. And there's actually only two that way. So I'm gonna copy this one and I just picked this because it was the most similar. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom of this listing. You can see they have sold eight of these at that high price. I'm gonna scroll down and I am going to click on sell one like this. And what that does is copy their listing. So now it says to provide photos for my item. So you will hit the plus. And now for me, these are unedited, but if I hit this button here, that takes it to my gallery. And here are my edited. Now you can hold down and you wanna put whichever one you want first, first. And then I will select all of them. And you can see I did do measurements. And I will show you here in a second something else I did. So I'm going to hit select. And while my photos are loading. Okay, so my purse is not new. So I'm going to delete where it says new. And it's not 
a Mercer rainbow. So I'm going to erase that as well. But I will type leather, white, gold trim, and it says leather crossbody bag, optic white gold. I already wrote white and gold, so I'm going to erase that, and mine is not optic. But I do want to put in here, I want to put purse. I want to put handbag, anything I can think of that they might search for. And then because this one has some issues, I am going to put read at the end in capital letters. And then I will go back. Now the title is mine. And for your item specifics, if you copy a listing, you want to make sure that you come in and change what's applicable to yours. So mine is pre-owned and the brand is Michael Kors. The material, it says check description. I am going to go ahead and undo that and put leather. Style is a satchel. Now, they have optic white. I would advise if you can find a color that fits it in those choices, put it because people might describe it by that. And then features here. It does have an adjustable strap. It does have inner pockets. It does have a detachable strap. You want to find every single thing that this has. And I'm just, it does have bottom studs. I'm just looking through. It does have an inner divider because people might be searching for that specific thing. And that is it for that. And then we're going to just keep going. And for the category, if you copy or sell similar from someone who is doing it, an item similar to yours, this should be fine. And for my description, you can see here it copies my title. I am going to put small smudges noted. That doesn't say that. It's hard to type and hold a camera. So I will write small smudges noted. Please see photos. And that is going to be it there. Now pricing. I didn't find anyone close to mine, so I am going to price high. I'm going to price at $199, and I am a $0.99 cent person. $199.99. Go to More Options, and this is where you can choose to turn on offers. I am going to hit Allow Offers. I personally do not use the minimum offer amount, so I am not going to put anything there. And now if you were to auction, which I do not recommend, especially if you're new, you would do that there. I don't schedule a time either. I'm going to go back and that purse is actually big. So I'm going to guess it is three pounds. And I am guessing by experience and we can actually get it and put it on the scale. Let's see how accurate my guessing is. We will turn our scale on. And then we're going to get this purse. And just from experience, I feel like this purse is going to be over two pounds into the three pound range. And there you have it. It actually might go over three pounds now that I'm sitting it here. So what I need to do then, and that's where measuring is important, but with the profit I'll make on that, I would have room. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to put four pounds. Now your package dimensions here do not matter if your box is going to be under 12 by 12 by 12, which this one will be. So then you're going to come back. You see the shipping. Now here you can turn on ship internationally. I do believe you have to go into your account settings and turn that on if you want to have that option. So I will just turn on ship internationally. 
The package details are determined by my other measurements. Now, this is expensive, but I don't have much money in. So if I wanted to leave it on global shipping and have more protection, I would leave that on. But I am going to come up here and hit eBay Standard International, and they will decide how much the buyer will pay. So this is calculated, and this is also calculated. So I have my payments and I have promoted listings on. It is on all my listings. I don't have to do anything, but you could come here and edit this and add a percent if you wanted to. And then we are just going to list our item. And that is it. It will tell you success. And you can share here on social media if you want to with your friends and family to kind of extend your reach. I would like to take just a moment to say I really appreciate you watching me. It really does mean a lot. Take a second, hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment below to let me know what you think, and definitely subscribe if you have not subscribed. I really do appreciate you watching, so let's get back to the video. All right, so next up is this Francoma picture. And I know that because on the bottom here, it says Francoma. And you also see it says an eight. So that's what we're gonna use to search eBay to start our listing. So we're gonna, again, come to the eBay app. Francoma eight. And it will pull up similar items, we hope. Now it didn't, so we wanna add the word picture so I actually try and use the least amount because I don't want to get rid of items that might match mine. And I don't care about how many are listed. I'm going to again go to filter and I will go to sold. And then I'm going to look for one that's similar to mine. So that one's kind of green and brown. And there's a miniature and you're just gonna look um, I am gonna go ahead and pick this one and again we're gonna hit sell one like this and add our photos now here you do have the option of using your camera and taking photos there I don't recommend it again these are my unedited I'm gonna click on this so then I see my edited and again, not going to go over how to take photos. You can look at my video on photos. So we will select and then we will go back. Now here on the title, it's very important to have your 80 characters. So I'm going to erase this and now it is a pottery picture. I'm going to erase green. Mine is not green. Mine is brown. And this is an old picture. So up top at the front, I am going to add vintage. So now I've got only 55 characters. So I want to add some stuff that would make sense. So they've got Frank Home of Pottery. I can put vase someone might use this as a vase I can put I could put tan and it, sometimes it's hard like I'm having a hard time right now thinking of what to put so vintage Francoma pottery prairie brown pitcher your vase I added tan and then we could add like country decor And that gets us to 77 of 80. And then I could add EUC, which is excellent use condition. And now I've used 80 of 80. And we're going to go back. I don't ever do subtitles that count costs more. And then we're going to edit our item specifics. And again, you want to look and make sure you change whatever is not the same. So here on color, I am going to change it to brown. And it is vintage original. Material. I want to pick clay, style, this one's more like an arts and crafts mission, I would think, I'm not an expert on styles, and then brand is Francoma, 
And then here on the bottom custom skew is where I put once I put it away. So now again category it's under pottery in China art pottery so I don't want to change that and this one it has no flaws so I'm actually not going to put anything in the description then I will turn off auction and it's got $48 as a recommendation I never pay attention to that this one I'm actually going to do $29.99 and again more options and I always accept offers that's a personal preference I will go back this one is about three pounds. I will edit my shipping, come in, and the three pounds is correct. It won't be over a 12 by 12 box. I will turn on ship internationally, but I click where it says global shipping program and I change it to eBay standard international and it calculates there how much the buyer will pay. If it's a large item and you want to add local pickup, this is where you would do it. And then we will go back and we, again, if you want to promote, you could promote and I will list my item. All right, up next is this Tetra Bio Filter cartridges. The cool thing about this is it has a barcode. So here's what people are scanning. And this again is the eBay app. You hit the camera up top and down at the bottom, there is an option that says scan a barcode. I'm going to click that and then I just direct my phone at it and it pulls up what I have. So then I will go again to filter and sold. And a lot of times what I like to do is I take these and I filter from the highest to lowest price. Go to filter and sort by highest price plus shipping because I want to copy the best one. So the best one is, is $12.98. So I will click on that and then I'll again scroll down and sell a similar. Sell one like this and then the plus at my gallery choose my four photos so for this you don't need a ton of photos it's a new in the box item select and we will go back the title I'm not going to change because this is exactly the same item and then I don't have to worry about the specifics either so this one I can kind of just scroll until I get to the price I will turn it off I will price mine at about a dollar cheaper than theirs, so I will go $11.99, and then I will also accept offers. Now, here is also under the price where you would change your quantity if you had more than one. And now, please enter package details. So, I use, if I know it's not going over 12 by 12 by 12, I will put in 6 by 6 by 6 on everything because as long as it's under 12 by 12 by 12, that does not matter. And then this one is super light. I'm like lifting it. You could weigh it. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to say nine ounces because that's just over that eight ounce rate. But let's take it over here to the scale just to show you guys. I do have experience, so I am pretty decent at guessing. Let's hope I don't make a liar out of myself here. So I guess nine ounces and it's only four, but you've got to remember, I'm either going to put this in a box or a poly mailer that is going to add. So if you're new, you could take this and set it here for your four ounces. And then let's say I'm going to use a six by four by eight box. I can just stack that on top of there. And now look. I would be rounding up to eight ounces. I added an extra because if I put paper, so my nine ounces was pretty spot on on that. Nine ounces it is. Dimensions don't matter if they're under 12 by 12. We will go to select a service. Here, I'm going to use first class. Just remember when you use first class, you can't use those free supplies and it will charge the buyer between $5.50 and $5.95 for shipping. This will depend on their zip code from theirs to mine. And then I'm going to turn on ship internationally. 
global shipping program I only use for extremely, extremely expensive items. So I will click that and choose eBay standard international delivery. And it will calculate. And then if you wanted to do local pickup. And then you will scroll down. Manage payments. And here is where you choose your handling day. Mine is one business day. You choose if you want to promote. And then you click on list your item. All right. Our last item to list is this little lamb planner. Which is not marked. There is no marking minus thrift store prices. You can see I just mark over it with black marker. So what I'm going to do is go to the microphone, or you could type Black Lamb Planter. And I'm going to see if I can find anything similar. And none of these really look like mine. There's, and there's only 16. So let's go to Filter, and we will go down to Sold. And again, not seeing a ton, but it is a vintage one, so I will copy the highest price one, which is right here. Sell one like this. I'm going to add my photos. And this is 11 inches, so vintage hand-painted black lamb sheep. So instead of hat and yellow bow, I am going to come here and put red bow. Now, it can be a flower planner. I don't feel like flowers is the right word. Flower planner. I'm going to erase the 6 inches. I'm going to put 11. I don't know what I just hit. I'm going to put 11 inches. There's that. And then I can put ceramic because it is. And that gets me to 72. And I'm going to put kitschy. I feel like this is kitschy. And I feel like that's something people are searching for right now. And that gets me to exactly 80. So we will go back. And then on the specifics, again, I want to look and just make sure nothing is different than mine. It is a sheep. It is unbranded. It is multicolor. I will leave flower as a pattern. And then size, I would consider this medium. And I do try and fill out as much as I can. The finish is kind of a glossy finish. I don't know if glossy is a, a choice here. And it is, so we'll put glossy. Room. This could go in any room if anybody wanted it to. Suitable for. Now here, I'm not gonna pick anything. Style. We can put like 1970s. I'm just guessing here. And down here for the price I am just going to do $39.99 there were no others like mine I paid I think four or five for her so I would be happy with that $39.99 price point and sometimes whoa $239 nobody's going to pay $200 um, sometimes you have to make up your prices um, and with what you would be happy with for what you paid I'm going to allow offers now, if she had been branded and I couldn't find any, then I would have went to Worth Point to try and get comps. Um, that's another video I might be able to do in the future trying to price things, but not today. So we're going to go down to delivery, and it says two pounds. I'm going to guess she would need to go at a three pound rate. Let's go ahead and turn the scale on. We got to get our last item off there. So I would have guessed a three pound rate. Let's see. And she's almost at two. So once I add bubble wrap and a regular box, she is going to end up over two pounds. So three pounds is a perfect rate for her. 
but she won't be in over a 12 by 12 by 12 so I don't need to change the dimensions again we will turn on ship internationally we will choose so if you want to do global shipping it would be there that does provide more protection but it costs the buyer a lot more so I do eBay standard international and then we'll go down our preferences stay the same eBay knows what I want to do and I have it promoted already because I have a campaign and I will hit list my item. I hope you guys have found that helpful. If there are other tutorial videos or help videos that you would like me to do, please leave me a comment down below and I will be glad to do those for you. As long as they take up a whole video, I get asked a lot of questions that can be answered really easily. So maybe I'll do a frequently asked questions. I'll start saving those for a video like that. So definitely let me know what you thought, if this helped, and I hope you have a great night. Bye. Yeah. And this is a notification call. Hello. This yeah. is Mary Fletcher. Yeah. 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 And this is a notification. Hello. Ooh. Central Processing Center for IRS back tax negotiations. Do you owe back taxes? You owe back taxes? The IRS to settle all old tax debt that any U.S. residents currently have. This means you do not need to pay back your past due taxes as they are temporarily non-collectible and can be forced into a settlement on your behalf. Using our automated approval technology, you are now able.